guys, this is V. Time for another short whip and chat. Um, today is Wednesday, 15th of April, and I've just completed my two day shifts. So, where are you guys at? At work, at home? High percentage will be at home at the moment. Um, so, yeah, now I was going to go through comments that were made. So I will start with the comments we actually made. Where did that go? On oh, my first whip and chat, my first short whip and chat. Um, got a few comments there. Um, Kathy, hey Kathy, you're always commenting, always saying hello. I think you're the first one to post something as soon as I, as soon as it's uploaded. You, you, I get a hi from you. Um, yeah, so hey Kathy, how you doing? I'll get in first. <laughs> Got someone called Tom who just put awesome subscriber. I think it's one of those channels where you uh, try and get more subscribers type thing. Who knows? But yeah, got the call, told it was an awesome video by him. And try and quiet some of that sound. Do not disturb on. Um, Julie. He's in New Zealand trying to holiday and not overthink things. Only downsize is not being able to see your grandsons. Yes. Oh, you hug your, hug, hug your kids in your heart. You hug your grandkids in your heart. And that's all you can do at the moment. So, yeah. And thank you. She is going to be pretty. You can actually see more of her now with this setup. Um, how cool is it? You can see so much more of her. Um, I was really impressed with how I'm able to get my cameras on this one. Okay, um, <laughs> Anna's given me, glad to see on well, great job on the desk. Tazzy De Dizzle, Diz Tazzy Devil. Um, my Easter, I think I had two Easter eggs over at Easter. Um, so yeah, and Rachel wants to craft room tour. Remember that, short whip and trap one, can we get a tour of your craft room when you're ready? <laughs> so I'm still playing away, still trying to get the right spot. I'm still sitting in the wrong position, I know that much. Um, and Rivka, I think that was Amelia, if I recall correctly. I'm not quite sure, because um, you were in one of my lives the other, a uh, couple of weeks ago, but yeah. Um, yeah. Fellow Aussie and uh, loves looking at this picture. So there you go, you get a lot more of this picture. Um, short weapon chat number two. Where are we? Got more comments, lots more comments, um, which I'm yet to reply on. But Rivka's working on a 30 by 40 white peacocks. Um, Rivka has her own channel, so check her out. Um, Mindy, uh, Mindy likes good old like shorter view videos and uh, loves hearing my voice. Uh, um, it's really funny how we talk about in that with voices um, and accents because there's some people on YouTube with their accents that is just like I could listen to for so long. And Mindy, with um, the way that Mindy talks, is just entertaining acts between it not just accent but she's just a out and out entertaining um yeah which i really do really do enjoy watching mindy's videos i'm one of these people that tends to actually watch videos and not comment every now and then i go oh but time to put a comment down I do watch your videos i just don't comment but yeah okay so tazzy desert desert is we're gonna do that right tazzy devil uh, we're not working, she's working on medium two DPs, one special dream, one large. I'm starting to start, about to start a cross stitch printed canvas. Cool. And when you get tired, want to change a pace, you have a crochet project. Yep. We've got, I think we've all got not just one project we're working on, don't we? Uh, and crafting with beautiful crown, chaos. She's been binge watching videos. She's been binge watching YouTube. Um, 
working full time, home, teaching two kids and trying to keep the house clean, and a husband is home as well until June the first. My gosh, I do not envy you in that position. Uh, I am really glad that I don't have kids at home. Um, especially considering I still need to work. I, well, I have to go to work. I've got no choice. Well, I've got a choice. But then I don't have a job if I make the choice not to go. So Sharon's finishing a 30 by 40 from Amazon. She's got two other DP whips. And Kathy, I won't go through all of that, um, but holy cow, um, Kathy's ordered uh, the two of my cats from Diamond. She's received one, and in her comments, she's mentioned that. But she ordered two, but one of them came back, came, went, arrived at Diamond shop damaged, which is why she's only got the one. Diamond obviously not happy with the, with it, has um, reordered it to be done again. So unfortunately, Kathy has to wait. Uh, but on that note, uh, it shows that Diamond just don't go. Yeah. You know, this is how we received it, this is how you get it. Um, they've got really good quality control. Um, <laughs> and all the, wall, all, all the walls in your craft room are shelved with supplies. Uh, I've bought a small bookcase, small one, just because I need more shelving because I don't have enough in here. Uh, hence why we Dave talk about Rachel Ray. Um, so she's asked for a cute, she asked for a craft tour room, craft room tour, and then the second comments was, yes, yeah, so we'll see it in a week. <laughs> I've got five days off now, we'll see how we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Sue's had a chat, uh, keeping a company while she cleans the back patio. No DPs to be doing. Oh, gosh. Um, as tech went to the store, just, just I mean, just general comments in there, which is really great. So, as tech girl, Rachel Ray, yeah. So next week, craft room to you. Uh, I will say, Rach, being awake seven a.m. to ten thirty p.m. Um, one of the best things, one of the best things for depression is actually. Although I know you're in Ireland and you don't see much sun, sitting for about 10 minutes with your face directly towards the sun and your eyes shut um, can actually make a big difference. So there's my little tip for you, Rachel Ray. Get there and just sit in a chair outside, face the sun, no sun is on, no glasses on, just shut your eyes and just lie there for 10. Um, you can class that as being like in the mindful mindfulness stage as well, which also makes a difference. But some of the things that I find that works for me just give you a little bit of a perk, a little bit of a boost. And Anna, I think the what else did I see there? Um, angles perfect. Well, I've got another angle again. <laughs> oh yeah, I will do a craft room tour once I've got it. I've got one set of drawers that I'm looking at right now that I might be using the sledgehammer on to uh, break it apart because I, well, it, I can't do it because it's Nathan's. <laughs> but it's shocking, it's falling apart and uh, I've got to replace it. We'll see how ha what happens there. Um, but yeah, so I think that's all the comments. Uh, some of you guys I will get back to and... and um, I will actually write to some of those comments that I haven't uh, touched on yet. Um, so yeah, I'm on five days off now. So I got home this morning and I slept. <laughs> Woke up and just vaguely got myself together. Um, what else is going on around here? Due back at work Monday. I, uh, uh, there we go, there's something with, um, you know, staying at home, self-isolation, staying at home, you know, only go to the shops when you need to. I've started going, I've 
st started getting meals via HelloFresh. Uh, they provide all the ingredients except for a few basics like olive oil, some of your sugars, your salt and that, they don't include that. Uh, so yeah, we've got that. And last, well tonight, I cooked it for the first, took one for the first time. So it comes in a box with, I mean there was five meals for two of us. And yeah, so I cooked that up for the first first time. And Nathan's like, I can't believe it, you're cooking, you're, you're doing real cooking. <laughs> And then the fact that I was putting chilli in the dinner, because I don't eat chilli. Um, and capsicum, because capsicum gives me heartburn. I try and avoid cooking with those things. But it was part of it. It was all supply. It was all part of it. So it was like, well, that's the only way I'm going to cook exactly what they... What they... Um, now I'm sorry, I regret it. Um, yeah, that's what it needs in the recipe. So that's what we're going to cook with. So I will show you... <laughs> This menu log, not menu log, why do I keep saying it's HelloFresh? Bring it up there. How good does that look? I didn't put the parmesan cheese on it. Uh, where are we? There we go. So I did that, cooked that tonight. And that's it on our plate. <laughs> Looks a little bit similar. But it was yummy, it was really good, really good. So I think um, we, when I did the order the first time, my first, so this is the first week of it, did the order and oh gosh, it arrived and I've opened it up and it's like, oh heck. It's four chicken dishes and one um, beef dish. Uh, yeah. So like I'd unboxed it yesterday and put everything away. I had the recipes out on the bench so that Nathan can see them. And then I put a sticky note on them saying, didn't realize I'd only selected, I'd selected just about all chicken dishes. Don't worry, next week there will be pork, beef, pork, beef and fish. Um, just said, cause I could almost see him going, oh, it's all chicken, but no. Um, just I just didn't look at the uh, menu properly and I could have should have gone for a little bit more variety but we'll see how that one goes uh, but Nathan was going to turn around and said what do you want to do this for what do you want to do that and it's like well I don't like for me when I'm I'm one of these people that I I shop not quite every day, but every second day for food. Um, I, I, I shop based on what I feel like cooking for that for dinner that night. So, you know, for me, you know, I generally go to the shop every day just to get stuff, just for dinner, basically. You know, I'll do one shop, one big shop a fortnight, but then just about every day it's the shops for food, unless, of course, some um, day shift or night shift, which is when I'm not worrying about food at all. But yeah, so I said, you know, this is doing a couple of things. One, we're eating healthier. Two, I'm not going to the shops every day to get dinner, to buy food for dinner. Um, and three, a bit of variety because we're starting to get bored with cooking the same stuff. Um, so yeah, like if I rang him, spoke to Nathan when I... Just before I start, I was at work, but before I started work, I rang him up and said, pick one of those recipes, which one you want for dinner tomorrow night, and we'll have that. And so that's where we ended up with the um, Sicilian chicken spaghetti. And the box that we got was supposed to be for like two people. Uh, so you've got a choice of serves two or serves four. Um, I was able to do two dinners plus two takeaway packs which means uh, Nathan will have one for lunch and I'll have one for a night shift so there's plenty of food in it which is really good um, so yeah uh, what else on the agenda hang on just going to move my leg it's very uncomfortable here I don't know I've got to get this desk sorted um, 
my next lot of plans what I've got to do now is <clears throat> clean up that clean up where my desk is my office desk so all that comes apart to tomorrow and I'll find hopefully every last little drill that's gone under that desk and then I'll set up my old computer the one that sounds like a jet plane taking off I'll set one that one back up on the computer desk um, and yeah once that's done the I have to build the new shelves new bookcase that I brought today so I'll be putting that together and uh, just try not to get organized a bit more yeah that's that's on my plan it'll be interesting to see whether i achieve it <laughs> i will say right now i have um i have a deep pan apple crumble in the uh oh, i'm cooking for sweets tonight for desserts not that we have desserts often um but that's in the oven so that'll be going off in about probably another 20 minutes 30 minutes and then we'll go and have, have desserts. Um, what else family-wise? Mum, if you're listening, I am so sorry for the other day. <laughs> I went started went from day shift to night shift. I got to work and signed the paper, the first lot of paperwork, and went, oh shit, it's Mum's birthday. So I quickly sent her a message, but I forget what day of the week it is, what the date is when I'm on shift work. All I, all I worry about is whether it's a Monday, a Wednesday or a Friday, because that's how I know where I'm, where I'm at with my shifts. Um, I think that's all disease. I think. Yep, no, that's all disease by the look of it. Um, so yeah, yeah, I didn't ring my mum for, for her birthday, um, which was very naughty of me, and I think that would be the first, I don't think I've ever missed her birthday before. Just want the next one. Um, yeah. Yeah, not good. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, haven't heard from my boys. Don't know how they're going. Uh, Nathan's still working, which is a good thing. Uh, I think he will be working less hours. I'm not quite sure on that, but at the moment he's still working, so uh, yeah. Yeah. As soon as he starts working less hours, I have to find things for him to do, which is <laughs> mine, a good thing. That's how we've got the death craft desk done. Um, Work-wise, it's just work. I have, I will say it, touch wood. I haven't had a, what they call an aloe, aloe breach for quite a while now, um, which is where, generally that's where they've got to do an investigation as to what went wrong and who did what and identify the, the root cause of it and try and resolve the issue from happening again not going to happen that you're still going to get idiots to do the wrong thing okay hang on i'm going to shake the desk a bit while i move my foot has gone to sleep all right oh, that's better <laughs> bye um with the craft room the door the window is directly that way and so I've got the window wide open. I've still still got some smell from the um, resin. But now when Bo goes outside, I hear him go outside and I can see, I can't see him, but you can hear. So you, you know how you guys hear his toenails on the, on the floors? Well, I now get it when he's on the, on the cement on the outside. But it's funny at the moment because he's going from the craft door, which is that way, to the craft window, which is that way. 
and he's going between the two who's going round and round in circles. Don't you bow? Poor thing. Um, yeah, he he actually doesn't mind the craft room now. I, when Nathan's at home, not at home, I will leave the door open, and he will come and sit on the mat. Uh, this is the only part room in the house that has the floor just about all covered with a, a mat. Because um, he's he's a sook, he doesn't like cold floors. So yeah, he uh, loves coming in here because he knows that he can sit just about anywhere in the craft room. And there's the louder footprints. <laughs> All right, well, that's a little short 20 minute chat. Um, let me know how your day is going. Did you do much? As you can see, I haven't done much at all. No crafting, because for the last couple of days, I've been obviously working. And that's it for the hours. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Pop some comments down below. Um, hit the like. Um, subscribe and uh, yeah hit the bell to be notified and I'll talk to you later bye